Hi everyone, I'm Kat Jack, and I'm here to give you the December roundup for the dairy industry, covering production, costs, and trade. So, starting with production, GB daily milk deliveries averaged 32.51 million litres in the week ending 13th of November. This was down 2.8% on the same week last year. It was also down 1.5% below our milk forecast, which predicted that this season's overall production would be down 0.2% on the previous season. Next up, costs. In recent months, a surge in energy and fertilizer prices has been the most prominent cost issue. High prices for natural gas have pushed up electricity prices in turn. It's also caused producers of ammonium nitrate fertilizer, or AN, to cut back on production, since natural gas is a key component in producing AN. This reduction in supply has caused the rise in prices. The most recent official figures show that September prices averaged £392 per tonne for imported AM. Since then, there have been reports of prices exceeding £700 per tonne. High fertiliser prices are likely to remain supported until the gas price drops back, which in turn will likely depend on how harsh the upcoming winter is. Finally, a quick trade update. UK dairy trade continues to be low in 2021, with January to September exports down 11% on the same period in 2020 and imports down 9%. That said, there were some glimmers of growth in quarter three, albeit comparing to a particularly low Q3 in 2020. Butter exports in Q3 21 were up 34% on Q3 2020, with increased trade to the EU. Meanwhile, Q3 exports of milk powders and concentrates were up 16% on the year, supported by exports to Algeria and to China. That's all from me this month, and thank you for watching. To find out more on any of these topics, please go to the AHDB website. You can also go to the website to subscribe to our Dairy Market Weekly newsletter and receive an update into your inbox every Thursday.